I'm Stephen Kay, developer of Karma Technology, and I'd like to give you a quick overview of the new Karma Motif software. Karma Motif is a standalone program running on your Mac or PC. It generates music as MIDI data and sends it to your Motif through a USB cable. By combining full-blown backing tracks somewhat like an arranger with the complete variability of the world's most advanced arpeggiator-like features, Karma Motif is a unique algorithmic music system unlike any other, and it's fully compatible with both the XF and XS series. Karma Motif introduces the newest third-generation Karma 3.0 technology with a host of new interactive features including stutter, retrigger, fill mode, new chord trigger features, per track volumes and mutes in each scene, and much more. All of Karma's interactive features can be controlled from the computer keyboard, the mouse, or external programmable controller boxes. The global MIDI setup page includes a complete selection of parameters for mapping external controllers to all of the features. You can also use the Motif's remote mode, which instantly turns the Motif into a real-time control surface for Karma, automatically mapping most of the buttons, sliders, and knobs into all of Karma's interactive features. Karma Motif is suitable for live performance, song creation, music production, or simply jamming away. It adds a whole new level of interactivity and enjoyment to your Yamaha Motif. So let's take a closer look at how it all works. When you select a Karma performance in the software, it loads a corresponding song in the song mode of the motif, with up to 16 tracks of professionally programmed motif voices and effects. But there's no recorded data in the song. The empty tracks play back the MIDI that Karma generates. You can then easily record your performance into the sequencer. The examples in this video were performed completely in real time simply by pressing buttons and playing the keyboard. There are six Karma modules in each performance, each generating a different part, and two keyboard parts for the left hand and right hand. New in Karma 3.0, usually module six in each performance is a drum fill or melodic fill, controlled by the fill button, that can be used to link scene changes or start the performance. In remote mode, there are two fill buttons, one for the left hand and one for the right hand. The right hand can use the section H button, while the left hand can use the transport play button. You can control Karma's music generation by playing chords in the left hand area of the keyboard. You can also use Karma's 16 chord triggers in each performance. They can be programmed to store any chord you desire and can be triggered from the computer, external controllers, or remote mode. Let's use the fill button and change to scene six. Scenes are snapshots of the real-time control settings. Changing a scene loads completely different variations for each part, including the fills. The right hand area of the keyboard allows you to solo or comp on top of the Karma generated music. Let's use the fill button again and change to scene 4. Stutter is another new Karma 3.0 feature. There are three different speeds of stuttering provided in each performance on three stutter buttons. You can even link the three stutter buttons together for complex multi-rhythmic stutter effects. The re-trigger button allows you to manually re-trigger the entire groove. Let's hit the fill and go to scene three. Each performance generally includes two motif arps as additional elements that can be triggered with the new intelligent transposition feature of the chord triggers. Any chord last played from the keyboard or chord triggers becomes the starting point for various scale steps assigned to each button. 
Chord triggers 9 to 12 are usually assigned to the first ARP, and chord triggers 13 to 16 are usually assigned to the second. The buttons can be set to latch so they stay on, and to turn each other off when a new button is pressed. Generally, four ascending scale steps are programmed for each ARP, although other settings are possible. If you play a minor chord, the scale steps adjust to fit a minor scale. While an ARP is latched, if you play a new chord, the ARP changes to match it. Now it's a major chord, and the scale steps readjust to fit the major scale. Scene changes, fills, and other operations can be set to automatically unlatch the ARPs. Let's use the fill button and go to scene one. Each performance also uses the assignable switches for various features, such as the octave of the right hand lead, or changing the lead voice to a different one. These settings can be optionally stored in the scenes as well. Let's hit the fill and change to scene 7. If getting a grasp on all of the interactive features built into each performance seems daunting, simply press the Performance Notes button and a document opens in your web browser containing detailed information about the current performance, the controllers, the scenes, tips and more. Hit the fill and change to scene 8. Each performance can store up to 32 scenes. We provide 8 fully voiced scenes like you've just heard, ranging from simple to complex. Karma Motif comes with 64 performances in various styles, with more already being worked on for future release. And that was only one of them. Let's take a look at a few more.
And that's just a fraction of what Karma Motif can do. There's so much more. For more information, please visit karma-lab.com slash karma-motif. And until the next time, I wish you all good karma. karma.